Da, da, da. Hi all, this is Michael from Ad Event. Great, so today I want to create an event with a custom image. So uh, let's get started by creating an event. Event title here, and this is my short description. Great, so what we want to do or create for this event is a custom template. So let's take a look at this event first. This one is using our standard template. So we want to create a new custom template uh, that we can reuse for some of our events. So let's create a new custom template here. Custom template, and we have a few, so let's call that 20. Perfect. So this is the source of the event page. And uh, here, Right here, I know that this is the place I want to put it, uh, that image, in case I want it to be on top of, at the start of this box. So let's go find a an image first. Um, image of people. Great. So let's, what we are looking for here is uh, the source of an image. Right now, let's uh, grab or steal this one from uh, Shutterstock. Perfect. This is the image source. Great. So let's head back to this template. And then we are creating um, a wrap. So creating a div container. And putting a little margin at the bottom here. Great. This container needs to contain an image. And with the source, alt, and then we are adding a style here. It's supposed to be 100% wide and a max width of 100%, and then it's commonly used that you display the image as a block tag because it's normally an inline tag. So here we go. Let's actually just put that into a style here. Great. Wrap one or let's call it image one, imp one. And that imp one has an image tag inside. Here, copy this one, imp one. Perfect. This one goes right there. Copy that one, replacing that one. And pasting that one in. Great. So now we have created a custom template. I want to assign or a newly created event to be using this template. So let's hop over here and set template 20 to be the one this event is using. Great. So that looks a bit strange. So that is not being picked up because I did it incorrectly, so let's hit back here. This needs to be class. Goody, goody, perfect. So this now, this image now fills out the entire screen, which is great. Um, perfect. Since I am cooking up an example here, then uh, we are including this one in our help video, then let's put a radius on, on that container as well. So this one, this specific example is showing an image uh, in case we wanted to do it as a background image. So for instance, we wanted to create a container here that is uh, full width, but um, let's go for 150 pixels. Uh, we can do that as well. So let's just create yet another example here. 
of two and then clear. Width is 100%, height is 150 pixels. Clear both, that's something I normally always do. Um, and then we are adding a background image. So let me put the background properties out here. So background position 50%, 50%. So that's middle and middle. Background repeat, no repeat. And if we have awkward uh, images, then uh, it's great to add this one, background size equals cover. That'll cover everything out, even though we have a um, strange image. So let's try this one out here. Or actually, I can just copy paste this one. So what I wanted to create was a more dynamic size here. Let's take this one up. Image two, and then here we can add a style so we can change it easily. So background image URL like that. So here, copy this full URL and put that into the brackets and that let's hit save here so this should now have created an additional container the, the one we just created right here so let's make sure that container also has a radius to it and we are also missing a margin here so like that perfect and it's save right here perfect so now it has a radius and it has a background image that um, magically fits inside of this box in case we, for instance, wanted to change a uh, background uh, color for this uh, page as well, then uh, here in the in the style, we could do HTML body and then try to change the background color to pink. Let's make some comments here, change background color, image box with image, image box with background image. Oh, perfect. Hit save on that one, and now we probably should see a pink background. Yes, so um, that's basically how you um, work with images currently in our system. Hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.